President Trump back on the campaign trail today after a report his medical team says he could not spread the virus to others. But as medical reporter Liz Bonus explores, does that mean he is now immune to it? Hey everybody, hello to you. We're hearing a lot about immunity to COVID-19 as President Trump recovers from the virus. So when it comes to the science, what do we know and what don't we know that might help all of us on the path forward? The word immunity means something. The president is right. Immunity means the body has the ability to defend itself from foreign bodies. In the case of those recovering from the coronavirus, that would refer to having antibodies against COVID-19. The problem, however, is that with this new novel or new virus, we don't quite know the level of antibodies needed so you can't get the virus again or how long it takes to build them up, especially in those given this newer therapy called Regeneron. It infuses antibodies into the body. So given that this is an antibody therapy, do we know yet if it actually helps produce immunity? That's a great question, and that's one of the things that still has to be determined is how long are you going to be immune, if at all. When we when this therapy is utilized, the body still makes its own antibodies against the virus. What this does is it gives the immune system a boost. It gives a circulating pool of these antibodies. But the big question is exactly that. Does this affect the long-lasting immunity and the only way to determine that is for us to follow patients for an extended period of time. The other thing to note is that the virus does appear already to have more than one strain. And while the CDC reports that there are no cases to date of those being reinfected within three months, we won't know for a while how common it is to be reinfected with a different strain. Because it's a virus that has RNA, is that actually is highly susceptible to mutating or changing over time. 